Hello everyone. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the math library from Apache Commons website. Uh, Apache Commons have a lot of important components that you can use it in Java. One of those components uh, is math, which is very popular. So I'll be demonstrating how to use this library to uh, generate random numbers to generate distributions and to gather statistics. So let's go ahead and see what we have in math here. They have uh, the latest uh, API here. So you can just click here and let's say you want to see the math distribution. So you just go here and you'll find a lot of different types of distribution that you can generate. Uh, we're gonna be using the normal distribution here so likewise they have a random number which you can use to generate the random number uh, so you can go through those different classes and then you have stat dot descriptive so this is the the library i'm going to use to calculate the statistics like mean max and standard deviation and the cool thing about this website is if you go back here you can find the user guides which are very useful. For example, you can click on statistics and it's gonna tell you different uh, classes that you can use like descriptive statistics, summary statistics, descriptive or stat utils uh, and the difference between them. It's very useful. And then you can also see like uh, distributions, different types of distributions you can use and other information so if you get a time please go through this one so let's see how we can um, import this library to uh, eclipse and play with the random numbers and distribution so what i'm going to go do here is i will go to the download here and once you go to the download i will download the binary uh, this one here zip format so if you click on it is going to start downloading it. So uh, I already downloaded it and I have it here on the desktop. And I unzip it and I have this folder here. And this is the file that will be importing to to the Eclipse. So let's see how we can do that so this is the folder on the desktop so what i will do is i will open the eclipse here this is the one uh this is the project i wish to import uh mac dot comments uh library so i will uh, right click here i will go to the import i want to import the file system and I will go to the desktop here. So on the desktop, we will have math.comments. Right, so I'll try to open this one. And I'll show it here. And this is the file I want to import in this particular Java project. Okay. So click finish here. So you see that library is included here right uh, even though it is included it's not being referenced unless you put that in the in the reference library so just to make sure i'll right click here go to properties right um it's already being referenced here but it's because i was playing with it before i recorded the video but if not you know you can you have to come here and add so all you have to do is you have to let's say i'm going to remove this one and then what you have to do is this is what it's going to look like before so i'll go click on the add jar i'll go to this project because we imported that imported that jar file here so I'll just click here say okay it's been done deal and then the those will be included in the in the classes now this is the test java 
which I wrote to play with the random numbers and that's in this uh, package here building serialized object from CSV so uh, let's say I'm just going to show you you know you don't need to manually import these things uh, Java or Eclipse does it for you so I'll just delete those things Okay, so let's go ahead and delete these things. Uh, so as as soon as you start typing it in, Java is gonna Eclipse is gonna highlight them with the red line, and once you hover over those classes, you can just go and say I want to import uh, Java or YouTube random class. So it's gonna import that. So this Mercedes Twister random number generator. This is coming from another website. This is where I downloaded the watchmaker framework. The watchmaker framework. This is the framework that you use to solve uh, any problem using genetic algorithms or evolutionary algorithms. So if you have time, you can go and play with that. But here I'll just click on the import from that particular library, which is already referenced. And these are the <coughs> Descriptive statistics are the one that's coming from uh, our Apache Commons map. So this is what I want here. I'll select this one, and then it's gonna bring in all those libraries that we need. And normal distribution will be coming from the distribution package here. So I'm just gonna click on it. And so we have normal distribution descriptive statistics coming from Apache Common. And then there is something called another uncommon.map where I'll be generating the random number. Remember, you can generate the same random number using uh, this class here. So if you go to API here, let's say go to the random here. So they also have Mercini Twister uh, class, which is very similar to one. And this is by Apache and that one is by Watchmaker. So that's the only difference, but you can play with it later on. So here once you incorporate that, all you need to do is you know generate the now. What I'm doing here is I'm generating uh, the three normal distribution with different mean and standard deviation. And so you can see that normal distribution, my dis normal distribution one has this mean and standard deviation and hence for and then uh, uh, what I want to do is I want to calculate the maximum, uh, draw the random number from each distribution. So this is my first random number here, drawing from that distribution here. And likewise, I'm going to do for each distribution. And then I would like to calculate the maximum value of those three distribution and add that to my stats.add value. Remember, uh, Maxwell. My Maxwell and stats, they are both descriptive statistics. So I need these two things to calculate the maximum. One to calculate the maximum, the other one to gather the overall statistics. So, so this is in two loops here. Uh, so hopefully this this will be simple enough for you to understand. So here, uh, once I do that, uh, I'm clearing it up for the next iteration. Here also, here also. And then I'm just adding my, uh, for example, what this is going to do is, is going to uh, continue this loop 2,000 times. So ultimately, it will add 200 maximum value, 2,000 maximum values to my stats.add value uh, in the memory. Okay. And once you are out of this loop, you, uh, then I'll calculate how many elements are there. In my stats, and obviously it has to be 2,000. That just a cross check, and then I'm gonna get the mean and the standard deviation. The whole idea here is, you know, as you increase the sample size, uh, even if you do the five or ten repetition, you should get all those values close enough because uh, that's the whole idea of uh, the distributions, right? Like if you have too many, if the sample size is bigger, or as it gets bigger. Uh, you sh your mean and the standard deviation so should stabilize and always give you one uh, or more or less the same number. 
to here when you run this one here. So 2009 is going to more or less generate. So you see that there. Every time we have 2000 elements five times, and the mean of the distribution of maximum is 192, standard deviation is 61. And you see that there is, isn't much difference between the other uh, uh, elements. Now, I have a specific application for which I need to use this. You might not have it, but still, you can see how we can use uh, Apache, uh, Apache's math library to do all these wonderful things. So with this small uh, <coughs> video here, I'll stop here. Thank you very much for listening.